Hello ravers and welcome to the Electric DM10, a mini series for the DJs and producers that have carried their names into the journey of sound for at least a decade and more. During the time of this recording and posting, the project being covered is still in the professional EDM scene, creating bangers, touring slash performing, or both. As the world of electronic music has countless DJs and producers, many qualify for the 10 plus year streak series. Being in the EDM industry for this amount of time is no easy task, let alone in the professional environment. With that said, this series of videos will briefly cover the project, the members, and tours slash travels. Most importantly, the music that got these projects the impactful recognition for listeners and the fans of the thousands, millions, and in some cases, billions. For a project to qualify in this series, the following must be met. First, 10 plus years of the project name being active. Important note, the project name cannot change to a completely different name. Second, at least one main headlining tour or direct support tour of the project's time. Special cases can qualify. And third, must have a minimum of three EPs, one album, and or several songs slash remixes published. Special note, the project name can have a time of taking a break from the scene due to health slash unfortunate circumstances, as long as the creator of the project doesn't confirm the end of such project in less than 10 years. With that said, welcome to the ninth installment of the Electric DM10. Man, with a schedule of a documentary every 10 days or so, forgive me for this one, it wasn't for the 10 day mark, I pushed it back due to me going for a DJ set for the open decks. Unfortunately, that didn't work out, but with every closed door, there's always an open door. Gotta have a sweet break every now and then, you know what I mean? Just gotta eat this sundae that I just made, and let's see. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Can a raver enjoy a sweet treat in peace here? Alright, whoa, 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 wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me do the documentary, and then I'll enjoy my little sweet treat. What do you say? Alright, I don't want to get whipped again. Huh, invisible whip, may I add? Well, speaking of whipped, there is a particular DJ and producer that I've wanted to cover. For every five DJs I cover, one of them's gotta be a female. But she gotta meet the qualifications, just like every other DJ and producer here. And it's none other than Whip Cream. So, let's dive into who this DJ and producer is all about. Whip Cream, real name Caroline Cecile, I believe I am saying her name correctly, is a DJ and producer from Canada, specifically from Vancouver Island. She has her style in electronic pop dance slash a little bit of the hip hop rap elements inside her craft with a flair inspiration from the hip hop culture and also she's done a bit of trap music. With the intro now done, let's get on to the early life, her times of being a DJ and producer up to now and see where she goes from here. Caroline in the early times in the year of 2012, she attended a music festival that would change her life, which was none other than Sasquatch Music Festival. For the next two years, she practiced her creativity on her own music through Ableton and a controller. By the year of 2014, her first song was released to the world. This forward path was only elevating when more songs were created and released in a couple of record labels. Even Skrillex's platform of Nest HQ featured a good amount of her tunes. Years later, Whip Cream released a fair amount of EPs that also includes remix EPs and an album with her name on it. Wanting to give her own direction with her style of sound, she has been known to have a different style as of the recent works. Despite a mixed opinion of her new music by the people on social media, Whip Cream still has a significant audience with her works. Who knows what the future will uphold for at the time I am doing this recording and posting, she will be doing her own tour for late 2024. We'll be interested if anyone is wanting to go and see her. She will be having one of her shows here in Los Angeles, California. With the early life and a bit of the present times, Let's take a look at the tours slash travels. Caroline, using the name Whip Cream as her project, she has performed in various music festivals including Shambhala, Hardfest, Life in Color, and even Coachella 2023. Others would include EDC, Ultra, Bonaru, Hard Summer, etc. Of course, with some of these festivals being in her home country of Canada 
and the neighbors in the US. She continues to play her sets with the recent works that she has and continues to do at the time of this video's creation and posting. Before diving into some fun facts with whipped cream that are outside of DJ and producing, let's take a look at her musical pages to see how many numbers she's got, shall we? So, for SoundCloud, she is almost at 60,000 followers and has exactly 100 tracks. Plus a nice little reference of following 69 accounts. Yeah. From SoundCloud to Spotify, we are seeing that Whipped Cream has over 680,000 monthly listeners. Well, let's do some researching with the fun facts. And here's one of them. She was born on Christmas. Literally on December 25th, 1992. So it's two years older than me, so it's swell. Caroline had another hobby, which she started at the young age of two years old, and that is ice skating. At the age of seven years old, this youngster was learning how to skate on the ice like a pro and learning from the pros, only to have her skills elevated a year later. And it, that's all it took for her first ever travels throughout Canada and the United States. Unfortunately, with years upon years of doing this hobby, once she reached the age of 18, she had a pretty bad accident while training and trying to pull off a complicated move on the ice, which resulted into a severe ankle injury. A metal plate and six metal pins were needed to fix her ankle to get back up and normal. After this painful event, she put her skates away to pursue with music. All right, this just in a last minute check with the fun facts. Whipped Cream has returned to ice skating for a little bit, according on her TikTok page. And a shout out to Whipped Cream for posting these videos. I am allowed to see what has recently been happening. It's, I do need to get into TikTok a lot more. But these videos are from her social media pages, specifically on TikTok. So... Please go look at her socials that will be in the EDM box below. Thanks, Whipped Cream, for posting the videos. Her song, So Thick, was featured in the movie album of Birds of Prey, a story of Harley Quinn, into a movie that was released some time ago. There is a video released in 2019 under the name Whipped Cream, Golf Cart Confessions, which is on Insomniac's YouTube channel, where she spills some... Tales from her times in life. I'll let you ravers look it up. You just look it up on YouTube, which will be Golf Cart Confessions. It's from Season 3, Episode 15. In 2018, Caroline joined United Talent Agency and Prodigy Artists and landed a label deal with the industry titan Big Beat slash Atlantic Records. Okay, last fact. She wishes she can fly. Just like me for real. I mean, come on. Wouldn't it be just awesome that you could just walk around one day and before you know it, all right, I'm just going to fly. Just fly into the skies. All right, getting a little off topic. Let's get back on track. Well, with some collabs that she has done throughout her times of being a producer, here are a couple that she has done. With Reaper, Lick, and along with some singers such as Lil Xan and Chandler Langton. And fun fact, I got to meet Chandler uh, a couple of years ago, which was, she was a pretty cool singer. Strongly recommend looking up these individuals that she's worked with. Quickly cut, touching base on the record label releases, she has released music on Monster Cat, Nest HQ, Spirited, and more. Now, going into the songs. Of course, she has a good amount of songs that covers her project's name, including Angels, Light of Mine, Romantic Homicide, which is an exclusive Spotify song. FTP. Fuck that Pluto? 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 <laughs> yeah, there is a song that's actually called FTP. Keeping it going, there's also a song called Blood, Drag Me, and of course a bunch of others. Let's not forget about the remixes. She has done a remix for the song Lonely, that was based off of Elenium, a remix by Zoo, which is Desert Woman, and a remix of Gunshot, which the original was created by Jackal, featuring Jammin. Now her EPs, she has released a few of them. These would include Someone You Can Count On, an original EP, and the remix EP released on the year 2023. And of course, just recently, Is This Real? Just released a couple of months ago. Along with these EPs, there are some other remix EPs, which I will briefly mention. I won't let you remix this. Who is Whipped Cream remixes, and 
I do the most remixes. Some of the producers that have done their contributions into in place these remixes in her remix EPs would be Naktu, Pixel Terror, Savage Cage, Destructo, Long Story Short, Bomb, Nostalgics, and many more. Now, her album. This was a surprise when I saw that she released an album in the year 2020, just as the pandemic was taking effect on the world, and it is called Who Is Whipped Cream. It's got a little bit of everything, so if you're into her unique style, there is definitely a song that's going to cater to your liking for this one. Now, the only song recommendations that I would personally give, which I have heard this song and I do like this remix, would be her Lonely remix that she did for Elenium's album. Now, diving into the personal thoughts, and honestly, I don't have any since I've never interacted with her in person, nor do I have anything else to add for the video. I've only had maybe one or two songs that have caught my eye. In all honesty, a good amount of DJs and producers I've done for the documentary series here on YouTube, I have personally met, and I really enjoy hearing their works throughout so much time. But there are still so many DJs and producers that I haven't even met, and many more that I won't be able to meet, not to mention to hear their style. With this documentary, I'm aiming for every five DJs covered, one out of the five would be for the ladies that have shown proof of their time in the professional scene for at least 10 years and more. I'm not going to repeat the intro here because we're already at the end of the video. So that'll be it for me. This is kind of a quick one. And I would like to say thanks for your patience, Ravers. My bad for having this a little bit delayed. And I cannot wait for even more documentaries. I have uh, just a bunch of them as rough drafts and I just want to get them out and I need to get them out there. So every 10 days, I'm going to try and push myself to put these documentaries out here. And you know what? I'm going to start doing snippets on TikTok. And not to mention, I will have them on Rumble and Minds.com. And most likely, I want to start putting them in other platforms. The last thing I want to wake up and realize is my channel being in absolute danger just because I covered X, Y, and Z. Mention X, Y, and Z. Always follow your creators on different platforms. And speaking of following, follow Whipped Cream's music. Her website links will be in the EDM box below if you're interested in her music along with my stuff that is in the EDM box below. With that being said, the next Electric DM10 will not be an Electric DM10, but this one is going to be for the Electric Hall of Fame. This one's going to take me a while to create, but I know in the end it's going to be worth it. So if it does not come out in 10 days, please give the patience for me, please. The first project that will be covered in the Electric Hall of Fame means so much to me, and... I cannot wait to present it to the world and I really hope that these legends will see the video. Just like I hope every single DJ and producer that I mentioned ends up seeing the video. They all deserve to have a recognition for putting this amount of time in their project, in their craft, and in their works. Well, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much, Ravers, for tuning in to another episode of the Electric DM10. Feel free to follow me here on YouTube by liking and subbing, which I rarely mention that because I do this as a hobby. And... Last but not least, keep listening, stay safe, and rave on.